Welcome back to Automation Devices. We thought this time we'd try to do a, a session on tuning. And what we want to talk about is a couple different situations. Sometimes customers might want to buy a feeder bowl like this where there's no tooling in it from us and they're going to do the tooling themselves. And when they put it on the drive unit, it might not run the way they're expecting it to. So we're going to show you how to either take away springs or add springs to make it work for you. Another situation might occur where you have a feeder bowl that's been in service for many, many years. But over the time, somebody's made changes to it, they've added tooling to it, and for whatever the reasons are, it's not running great. So what we're going to do is talk about, well, what can you do to tune it so that it'll run better and you'll actually get good motion out of the parts, and that may be adding a spring or removing a spring. So the first thing I want to do is I want to turn this feeder bowl on and show you what the sticker looks like, and then I want to show you what it looks like running parts. So what you should be able to see here is the sticker's vibrating, probably way faster than you would ever need them to run, but I wanted to show you an illustration of how strong it can be. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this bowl off and we're going to put the other bowl on that is going to simulate the fact that it's got tooling been added to it. So it's actually the same cast aluminum bowl, it just has tooling added to it. So we're going to take this one off and we're going to put this one on. Now the difference between this bowl and the one that was just on here is it has a tooling block on the end. We've got a wiper over here and we have a wiper over here. So that's going to add a significant amount of weight to this bowl. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on and you're going to see when I put the parts in here what's happening. Now you can see they're barely vibrating. They are starting to go around but this is about as fast as you're ever gonna get out of these parts. So this is an example where added weight has taken away the performance that you need to see. So you want it to run better, but you can't get it to run any faster than this. So that's what we're gonna solve right now. What we need to do is we need to take the bowl off. Let me shut this off. We need to take the bowl off and we probably need to add a set of springs to each one of these spring banks to make it stronger. By making it stronger, we're going to cause these parts to drive up the bowl much faster. So let's do that. Let's uh, take the bowl off. And it takes a little bit of time. But it's well worth it and it's not very difficult. So one of the first things we're going to do here is we're going to take off one of these spring banks. And these should be pretty darn tight already. So that's why you see me using a pipe to loosen and to tighten them. Because these springs are going to be very, very tight. So I'm going to take all of these off at once. And if you look at what I have here, I have springs that are different thicknesses. The thickest one and then there's three thinner ones. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start by adding one thin spring. So I'll just stand it right up, pull that off. I have to add a spacer in between each spring just to space them out. And even though they're not painted, that really doesn't matter. It doesn't affect the performance. All right, so now that we've got those added, I'm simply gonna put these back on here and screw them back down. Now a lot of times customers will ask us, well is there a torque spec? Is there a certain uh, foot-pounds of torque that I should be using when I'm tightening these down? And I would love to tell you the answer is yes and we have a torque spec, but there really isn't. Every bowl is going to need to be tightened down to its own individual requirement. And that's sometimes 
just a little bit of trial and error. You, you have to find out where that's going to be as to what you need to tighten that down to. So what I'm going to do just to start is even though I don't have a torque spec, you can see I'm using a pipe. And that's just basically what we call pipe tight, where it's tighter than I could use with my bare hand on that wrench. And I make it a little bit snug. And then what we need to do is the same exact thing for each one of these springs. So I'm going to put the next one on over here. I'm going to put the next spring on over here. I'm going to make them what I call pipe tight. And that's what I'm going to call as a starting place. It's a great place to start and see, is it tight enough for the bowl that I'm going to add? So what we're going to do is we're going to start by doing each spring next.